Okay, another week, another update reveal for 1.8. And I'm super excited to find out what we're getting to the game. So far, we have seen two intended features for 1.8. That is the cinematic camera and the kill feed. So that only leaves one remaining. And the devs are about to stream and reveal what we have here. And also real quick, if you log on to Trail Bakers this week, you'll get a uh, rescue pack sale for Steam. So if you're interested in getting the DLC for, I believe, a cheaper price, definitely go check that out. All right, time to react to the new stream from the devs revealing the waves. Whoa, whoa. There's waves on all the other maps now? Oh, and you can disable them? There's also an intense setting. Wow. Awesome, that is so cool. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Those are the waves. Um, does this mean we can disable waves on high sea? We might as well start taking questions now. No. And also, you cannot change the waves on high seas. Yeah. This actually, ironically, this doesn't work <laughs> on high seas. Okay, so all of these new waves don't change the settings that are default on the high seas. And I would say that even though a new map is not planned for 1.8, it's not coming in 1.8. I think it's it would be safe to assume that a new map would be coming at some point. Hmm, okay. Maybe not a map for 1.8 then. Maybe. Who knows? They could be lying. Oh, so you can actually see the waves there, look. And this is the Treasure Island map. You go into session here and there you have... Oh, wow. Calm. Disabled and intense. So here we have it with the, uh, with the waves disabled. Will we get wind also? No. There is the not, wind, there is. Not at this point in time. Okay, so just waves at the moment. No plans for winds like the wind on the high seas. Are there new blocks coming in 1.9? The chat is already wanting 1.9. So like I said, that's the wave disabled. Here we got the calm And waves. back to calm setting. So we just went from disabled to the calm. And the waves are just I think it's like regular waves. This is awesome. And that's the intense setting. Uh, and yeah, show me the intense. You have seen in the video, the intense setting requires the uh, high seas expansion. It requires that you own high seas. Yeah. The settings are, are there if you don't. So you need the DLC for high seas to get the intense wave expansion. setting. Okay. We're doing intense now. So this is what it looks like. So big waves here on Treasure Island all of a sudden. Yeah, and it's going to be different uh, around the coastline and uh, further out. So there's, there's a bit of revi revival. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it's exactly like high seas now. And now they're showing off the cinematic camera, which is another it's planned nice feature ship. for 1.8. But yes, you can totally freeze time. I'm very happy to see that you can. And, uh, and change the day so you can get... Okay, so if you freeze time and change the day, that works. But what if you freeze time and change the wave settings promotional purposes i think is also going to be really good for content creators yes content creators oh somebody mentioned uh, torpedoes whether they will be working in this uh, calm Ooh. setting or if it will be too torpedoes much. and that's also been our concern uh, so that's why we have the disable wave feature because oh okay to, i thought he was speaking um, about like actual new torpedoes he's on about uh, like player made torpedoes we haven't talked about blocks at all, have we? We have mm. not. So mm. a, a, a simple yes or no <laughs> would suffice, I think. That's the next week and the week after that we're talking about blocks. Oh, okay. So next week we're going to be talking about the DLC, I believe, with the new blocks. Is 1.8 strictly features or will there be any blocks in the update outside the rescue DLC pack? 
Yeah. Good question. We about that. Confirm something. Let's uh, say that that uh, yes, there will be blocks. Whoa. 1.8. Nice. So there the will be free blocks DLC outside of the DLC. Wait, but uh, that's as far as I'm willing to go at this point, and I hope I don't regret saying that. <laughs> oh, oh my God, this game is just getting more ah, beautiful this by is, every update. I kind of wait for this update. It's gonna biased, make me want to do more like boat-related content now. Because high seas was awesome, was but the wind was a little tricky experience. sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. What will happen when not all people in the server have high seas? Oh, uh, good question. Another yes, good question. So, um, in this case, because we already have something similar with high seas, how we deal with that uh, locking, we're doing the same thing here. <coughs> if there's an admin in the, if the admin of the server has turned on the intensity, the high intensity waves because they have the DLC, it will be for all players on the server. Then, if that player leaves the server, we will revert to the settings of the new admin. So. Oh, okay, yeah, so that makes sense. So if the host of the server owns the DLC, essentially, they get to turn on the intense wave settings. Everyone else who doesn't own the DLC will get access to play on the intense waves until the guy with the DLC leaves. Hey, I'm currently reacting to this for my review video. Say hi, Johannes, from Yuzi. <laughs> hi, Yuzi. Uh, hi, Yuzi. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, remember to like and subscribe <laughs> to Yuzi's channel. Yes, definitely yeah, do that, I'm guys. I'm watching a lot of those videos uh, to also so uh, see uh, see their reaction to uh, the stuff we're making. So yeah, well, we're pretty big fans, both yeah, of us. Yeah, definitely. The devs are fans of me. That is so cool. Then for stranded, we also tried very hard to not uh, change the difficulty of that map to have to go through a large amount of user testing to to make sure that the difficulty has not changed. Yeah. So there. When you play in campaign mode, you don't have the option. It will be as it always. Okay, so campaign mode, there won't be any waves in Stranded in Space. But in Sandbox mode, it seems like, yes, you can. Which is good, because that is an awesome map to play on. I think that's going to be interesting. Yeah, more or less it for this time around. Okay, that was an awesome stream. We definitely got to see a little bit more detail and in-depth of how the wave mechanics will work. And it's good to get a deeper understanding on how these DLCs will impact the game, especially when it comes from the devs themselves. But I do want to look at that first initial trailer video again. So I've asked my friends over at Flashbulb to send me the official video file and we're going to break it down. Okay, first things first, we can see the waves work on Danger Zone. That is one of the maps you'll be able to turn the waves on. I do believe Danger Zone is the most popular map in the game, so adding it here is a must. Especially when we have an aircraft carrier on this map. Here we have the title, Trail Makers 1.8, waves on all maps. But as we found out watching that stream, not quite all maps. Like the Rally map, for example. But then again, that's its own game mode. And of course all the maps without any ocean including airborne map spacebound and obviously tesso here we have the waves working on the og map treasure island i really like this map because it has a really nice convenient ocean spawn and i think a lot of players will be sweeping back to this map to just plow it with the waves anyway because it is just a fun map here we are again with danger zone I gotta say, this looks epic. So here's the stranded map. So this is a campaign map and also a sandbox map. By going back to what the dev said when I was reacting to the stream, it seems that the waves will only be allowed on the sandbox version of the map. I'm not sure if they're planning on adding it to the playability of the campaign version of the map. Maybe the campaign version of the map might have like the, the calm setting of waves, but I don't think you'll be able to mess with the settings when you're playing in the campaign mode. Waves supported on the race island map so this is an interesting one because obviously having waves in the race island is awesome but waves could potentially affect the scoreboards for people and if they're trying to get a fast time on the race especially this water race maybe there will be a separate scoreboard for people who have the wave setting on or maybe the waves just won't be on but it looks like this guy is actually doing the race and i do see waves if we play this portion of the clip you can see the waves disabled the calm version and the intense version however this specific setting requires the high seas dlc 
which I believe was like 1.5. So it is quite an old DLC, but it is awesome for some, but it is great for some blocks that work specifically on water. For the players who don't own the DLCs, specifically high seas, let me know down in the comments what you think about this being a paid feature, just having the access to bigger waves on all of the free maps. Is that annoying? I don't know. Let me know, guys. But yeah, that's pretty much it for 1.8's final feature, the waves. It seems like 1.8 is the update where it just adds a better experience to the general game. There's no theme to this update in particular. There is a theme to the DLC though, the rescue DLC. But I think it's just adding some cool features to, you know, elevate the experience. And hey, what can I say? Free features are always welcome, especially when we get free blocks. They were saying something about there being free potential blocks in the update outside of the rescue dlc as far as i can tell the rescue dlc is gonna have a bunch of blocks that you'll have to pay for but we'll have to wait till next week when they reveal what's in the dlc and also the week after that as far as when this dlc and update will be happening i have no idea they haven't released a date yet all it says on the steam workshop is it's coming soon how soon i don't know but if you've been playing this game for as long as I have, you really start to appreciate how consistent they are with the updates. Like we just had 1.7.4 with the power couplers. And the devs over at Flashbulb are leaking 1.8 features. Who's to say they're not already working on 1.9? Once again, guys, go and check out the rescue pack. It is on sale currently. Don't miss out if you are planning on getting this DLC. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my review for the 1.8 leak this week. Let me know what you think of the waves. And let me know what features you would add to Trailmakers if you could. It's always a pleasure doing this style of content for you guys. I feel like it helps the community a lot. It gets us all hyped for future updates. If anyone's interested in getting their own insane hoodie, the link is still down in the description. And whilst you're at it, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.